tunnel's set up. See if you can't get that security network running, Mako. Sure thing, Braden. We'll be... Uh, hey, now. Indeed. The main attraction has arrived. Team, this is the man we're pinning all our hopes on. Best shot I've ever seen in Nerves of Steel. He's great hunt material, all right. What do you say, Hunter? Ready to meet your team? My team. I like the sound of that. Get used to the idea. To win the great hunt, you'll need support, structure, and intel. Let's do things official-like. This is Mako. A little genius I picked up years ago in Nar Shada. She provides intel and tech. Hope you're as good as the old man says. And the big bruiser is Jory. He handles the heavy lifting and provides security for our base of operations. Atuni ma chechu. Cute girls and big guns. I'm sold. All right. Enough introductions. Down to business. We're here because the Great Hunt has been called. Little Mako is the most rabid fan of Hunter history this side of Geonosis. And even she doesn't know exactly what the Great Hunt entails. I do know the names of every Great Hunt winner, though. Bloodworthy, the Defenestrator, Jewel and Nightbringer. Every bounty hunter who's won a great hunt went on to massive glory and riches. Which is why we're here. What's our first move? Here's what I know so far. The Great Hunt has two groups. The Mandalorian Elite and freelance bounty hunters sponsored by influential crime lords. There's no time to make you a Mandalorian. That means you need a sponsor. Nemro the Hut runs this stinking little town. I've got just enough pull with that gangster to get you an introduction. Mako, scan for every bounty in the area. I want the nastiest, most brutal, untouchable scum you can find. I'm on it, Graydon. One nasty character coming up. We need to get you situated as a big-time hunter, at least as far as the locals know. Then we contact Nemro. Mako will plant rumors about your off-world exploits. But you have to take down someone impressive and local to sell the reputation. Is there anything that little girl can't do? She can't handle a gun like you can. Or we wouldn't need you, would we? Found something. Check this out. Vex, Corellian. Champion quickdraw artist, wanted for robbing 15 Imperial military pay stations. Perfect. This Vex is either a madman or a glory hound, and he's obviously dangerous. It says here Vex has a safe house in the bad part of town, right in the heart of the madness. That'll be fun. Nemro the Hutt's enemy took over part of this town. It's dangerous poking around in there, but it's your best shot. Raid Vex's safe house and look for something that might help us track him down, but be ready for anything. Excuse me, but I have a safe house to shoot up. Be safe out there. I'm just saying I want to go on some missions. My blaster aim is pretty good. Anything's better than sitting around with you and our gear. No offense, big guy. Hey, look who's back. How'd it go out there, hotshot? Find anything? I found out I enjoy killing gangsters. A lot. Is that crusty data pad you're holding so tight the only thing you've got? Let me have a look. Pleasure's all mine, big guy. Well, look who's in a generous mood today. Hey, Braden. How was Nemro's palace? We getting our hunter in to see this hut? I've laid the groundwork, but we're not there yet. What have you got? A data pad from Vex's safe house. Crack the encryption in record time. Check out that last entry. Our boy Vex keeps detailed records. There's a receipt here for a shuttle ticket he bought today. We'll have to move fast. Only the boldest make it into the Great Hunt. And Vex is a bold target. He's a champion gunslinger. Completely ruthless. What do you say, Hunter? You ready to take down Vex all by yourself? I'm always ready. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. If you head out now, you'll catch Vex at the shuttle port before he escapes. Bring back Vex's ID tags as proof that you're the one who got him. Anything else he carries is yours to keep. Oh, Kakiza, speed up, Perupa. 
Kawashimiko Higa Tanguya. Huh? What's this? A lawman of sorts? Never thought I'd see the day dashing Vex would get cornered by a brute enforcer. You break Imperial law, you pay the price. Ha! <laughs> but I know something you don't. Vex is not your ordinary run-of-the-mill thug. Oh, no. Vex is the galaxy's greatest quick draw artist. Vex can shoot your ears off so fast, you won't even hear yourself scream. Show me. Oh. Cheater! Hey, old-timers, I'm... Jory. Brayden! What happened? Is the old man... Somebody's gonna pay for this. No. The old man's really dead. But, but he... Oh, oh damn it! <laughs> Wait. You had something to do with this. Crazy? Why would I kill them? I I'm sorry. I, I don't know what came over me. It's just... I've been with Brayden for years. I, I know you didn't have any reason to hurt him. And I just can't believe he's gone. It's never easy seeing friends die, Mako. I just never imagined. But I, I can handle this. I can. Jory and I set up surveillance gear all over this room. Whatever happened here should have been recorded. Fire up that monitor. Let's figure out who did this. Someone's tampered with the recording. I can still get some of it, though. Here we go. Move it, you're dead. Now if you know it's good for you, you're gonna back out nice and slow. Oh, I know precisely what's good for me. Winning the Great Hunt won't merely be good. It will be splendid. When I win, the entire galaxy will know the name Taro Blood. And I'll charge extravagant fees for my services, won't I, Seddon? The highest in the galaxy. Only the filthy rich will be able to afford you. Taro Blood. I've heard of you. Nearly got crippled by the other Mandalorians at the Great Hunt ten years back. Ah, yes, that. An unfortunate bit of history. This time, I plan to win. Of course. That will be simpler if my competition doesn't include rivals beyond my fellow Mandalorians. The Twi'lek Vibrablade Master from Ord Mantell? Gone. The Chiss Droid Builder fond of explosives? Gone. That just leaves your protege to remove. Kunta Chuta! Kasuya Likulira! Kanki Ku! You misunderstand. The rules forbid killing competitors before the allotted hour. Thus, the promising up-and-comers I mentioned are very much alive. I simply eliminated them as threats. And how does one slow a charging Gundark, Seddon? Blast his legs out from under him. Destroy the upstart so-called crew. I'll be outside, innocently unaware. Jory, shoot the kill! Too late, old man. <laughs> scum. He didn't even have the guts to kill them himself. He had his lackeys do it. Coward. The big mouth running the show claimed he was Taro Blood. He's a big shot even for a Mandalorian. When he started out, Taro Blood was major news. Rumor says everyone united against him when he tried the Great Hunt. We need to find this man, Mako. He needs to die. The old man always said this is a thinking job. Know your enemy, then target his weakness. Taro Blood barely survived elimination from the Great Hunt last time. He was out on his back for years. Major squash, you know? If Blood's determined to win the Great Hunt, our best bet of catching up to him is getting you in that competition. I'm here to win the Great Hunt. That hasn't changed. The thing is, Brayden spent all our credits getting us here. We're stuck on this stupid planet. 
Nemro the Hutt is the only boss with enough clout to sponsor you for the Great Hunt. We need him more than ever. If nobody knows Brayden is... is dead, I should be able to get you a meeting with Nemro. This'll take every favor I can call in, and I'll need the tags from your bounty. It should be enough for two burials. I didn't know him well, but I'd still like to pay my respects. No time. You've got to get to Nemro fast. Brayden would understand, and Jory would insist. I did everything I could to build your reputation, but now, you'll have to make an even bigger impression. Nemro's enemies are all over town. Take out some leaders before you visit the palace, and you'll score points with the HUD. Hey, it's Mako. Got some information for you. How you holding up, Mako? Better, now that I've got a lead. The man who killed Brayden really was Taro Blood, a big shot from Alderaan. After he washed out of the last Great Hunt, Taro spent years building up support with the Mandalorians. The Great Hunt is a Mandalorian tradition. Entry rules are different for their people. Since Taro is a Mandalorian, he competes with them to enter. Now, he's buying off the other Mandalorians so they don't gang up on him again. A coward and a cheat. This scum dies. That's what I like to hear. For now, concentrate on impressing Nemro. His sponsorship is your only chance of getting close to Taro blood. Oh, and one more thing. While I was out taking care of... saying goodbye to Brayden and Jory, I caught someone following me. He was dressed like some off-world tribesman, tall, wore a white bone mask, like a death's head. I'll put him on my to-kill list. You're so fantastically simple sometimes. Anyway, eyes open. Go show that HUD who's the best bounty hunter in the galaxy. Hey Hunter, we've been had. Nemro's already sponsored someone for the Great Hunt. How do you hear these things so fast? You'd think people secure their comm channels better. Don't they understand I'm a genius? I know who got Nemro's sponsorship token and how to find him. I'll tell you everything, but I've got a price. I saw this coming a long way off. Yeah, I'll bet you did. Brayden taught me how to fight, and you know I'm great with information. Take me with you, on this hunt and whatever comes after. I think we'll have a lot of fun. I I'm good with a blaster. And, and Brayden was like a father to me. It's not fair that... Wait, did you just say yes? Thank you. Brayden was sweet, but he always treated me like a child. I'm not a child. So thank you. I want to be there when we find Brayden's killer. I want that more than anything. So let's go find Nimro's bounty hunter. You prepared to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this guy? Whatever it takes to get you into the Great Hunt. The hunter we're after is named Rarsk. He's a Trandoshan and serious bad news. Burned a whole village alive on Dantooine. I intercepted a transmission between the Trandoshan and, get this, the bone-faced freak who was following me. Remember me warning you about him? You think those two are working together? No clue. We better prepare for anything, though. Rars is collecting on a bounty fought through the hut Nimra's rival is holding for him. A Republic scientist or something. All we have to do is break into Fathra's ridiculously well-guarded palace in the swamp, find the scientist ourselves, and set a trap for Rarsk. And when Rarsk shows, we take his sponsorship token. Good plan. You haven't seen anything yet. Turns out Fathra keeps interesting people on his payroll, and by interesting, I mean they have prices on their heads. If we want to seriously compete in the Great Hunt, or even get off this mud ball, we need the extra credits from these bounties. Come on, Father's Palace is waiting. Stay back! I've got a... a... Well, I guess I don't have much of anything. Please just tell me why I'm being held here. What do you think? This our Republic scientist? She fits the target description. Now we just wait for Rars to show. Short version, lady. There's a bounty hunter coming to take you to the Empire, where you'll probably die or at least be tortured. Oh, my... We want to kill this bounty hunter, so it's your lucky day. Just sit quietly and be bait-like. We'll try not to splatter any blood on you, ma'am. I'm not cut out for this. Please let me go. I'll do anything to... What part of sit quietly don't you understand? You're gonna blow our... Oh, great. Shambaloomy loss. Or the Urvas. Urtor Dakis. Bahakfo Lankas. I never killed a, a. What is he again, Mako? Trandoshan. Rhymes with dead meat. Bakyaruno Rakma. Udbakbolua. Rakma Krenak. Shivert Skars. 
put to us. Why does it always come to violence? That was brutal. But I owe you my thanks. Got that right, girl. We're the heroes of the day. So, what happens now? Isn't there a bounty on this woman, Mako? Sure, but that's not something we're interested in, right? I wouldn't do anything to upset you, Mako. Here, I've got an old holdout blaster, just in case. Now get moving. Thank you again, both of you. Very well, Nimro. When the Trandoshan returns, I shall... Ah, I see we have a new player in the game after all. That's the bone mask creep that followed me. Get him! Hunter, allow me to apologize if I spooked your young friend. Go ahead. I already filled my quota of killings today. So it would seem. I am Grata. It is my honor to represent the Great Hunt. I have been investigating possible malfeasance by one Taro Blood. You buying any of this? Yeah, it all makes sense. It's just rotten luck you didn't catch Taro Blood in the act. I reviewed your security holo recording and witnessed the murder of your teammates by Taro's men. While dishonorable, the attack wasn't technically against the rules. Unless Taro attacks another competitor, he cannot be punished. Nothing will stop me from getting revenge. As you wish, but know that Taro is protected by this competition's rules, the same as you. I shall continue to closely monitor Taro Blood's activities. If he breaks the Great Hunt's rules, he will pay for it. I have remained here to give the Trandoshan Rorsk instructions for the Great Hunt. It seems this is no longer necessary. Rarsk is dead. I have the token to prove it. And thus, my instructions are now for you. Indeed, you have proven yourself worthy of the Great Hunt. But the competition is only beginning. From here, you must go to Drummond Kos, the Imperial capital. These are your shuttle passes. I wish Braden could see this. At least now, we can make his killer pay. Terrell Blood will get what's coming to him. That's a promise. You're the best. When you arrive on Drummond Kos, seek the Huntmaster in the Mandalorian Enclave. He will answer all your questions about the Great Hunt. You've been a real big help, creepy guy. Indeed. <laughs> You and I aren't finished, Hut. I'll be back. Good hunting. About the whole Great Hunt thing. Thanks. It means a lot to Brayden that you stuck with it. I'm in this for your sake more than his. That's sweet in a total and complete lie kind of way. Great Hunt was Brayden's dream. Talked about it for years. The day he told me he'd found you. Should have seen him. Grinning and laughing so much, I thought his face was split in half. That's not every day you get a shot at the Great Hunt. Winning this thing? It would have meant more to him than revenge. So I'm gonna skip saying thank you again because you get the idea already. Let's just get moving. Spaceports all smell the same. Engine exhaust, coolant fluid, and spacers who haven't bathed in a week. Let's get out of this stink. Whatever the rest of Drummond Cost is like, the air has got to be fresher than in here. Still smells better than a hutta. It's like saying a girl's slimmer than a hut. Just a reminder, this is an imperial world, which means rules, rules, and more rules. If we tweak the local authorities, they can make life really hard. I like tweaking with authority. How did I know you were going to say that? Come on, the Mandalorian Enclave is in the Citadel. Our contact is someone named Chris DeMarcon. <laughs> and then I told him, you think that's cold? You should see what I did to the Gamorrean. 
I never saw a rodian run so fast in my... Whoa. Hello, handsome. You here to sweep me off my feet? We are here for the Great Hunt. We've been sponsored by Nemro the Hut. Oh, what's this? Got yourself a pet? Little sister, maybe? It's not enough to hold a real man's interest, anyway. Mako's the only person in the galaxy who matters to me. Really? I... Really? Huh. Your loss. You probably ain't gonna like what I'm about to tell you. But there's nothing I can do about it, understand? There's one spot left open in the Great Hunt, and over three dozen hunters who got sponsorships. It's okay. I brought over three dozen rounds of ammo. I just bet you did. I hope you can back up that kind of talk. You understand the basics, right? Three bounties, hardest targets on Droman cars. Gotta get all three to qualify for the final melee. This is the best job in the galaxy. Ooh, I like you. You're even crazier than the rest of these hunters. Now let's see who your first target is. Whoa, this can't be right. You got enemies among the Mandalorians or something? Just Taro Blood, the Mandalorian who killed Brayden. What'd he do? I'm used to having the cards stacked against me. I wouldn't wish this bounty on anybody. Gotta play the hand you're dealt, though. The target's a Republic noble named Valtaka. He got captured during an Imperial raid, brought back here, and sold into slavery by mistake. I love it when fat aristocrats get theirs. My thoughts exactly. Nobles can all go rot. I've seen how Imperials treat their slaves. It ain't pretty. Altaka's slave group was building a big old statue in the jungle. The slaves rebelled and took over the site. Nobody can get in there. We don't even know if he's still alive. If he is, the family will pay big. Will the family pay big for a corpse? They'll pay for the body, but not as much as alive. Details are on the higher slip. The slaves got themselves a tent camp near that statue they never finished. If Altaka's still kicking, he's probably somewhere in there. Before you go, meet your new best friend. The S-86K full-gauge carbonite armor upgrade. You can't shoot a fella with this while he's springing around. It's too slow to charge up. But once that fella ain't resisting, say, after a good long beating, the S-86K will freeze him for transport. I do love getting new toys. I expect you'll have plenty of chances to play with that one. You find that Republic noble fella and claim that first bounty, then hurry it on back here as fast as you can. My dear Altaka, when I got your message, I could scarcely believe it. We have found each other after all these years. Oh, looks like a love letter. From an Imperial noble, no less. Juicy. Why would a noble be writing love letters to a slave? That's what I want to know. It must have been the Force that brought you here to Drum and Curse, dear Altaka. As for your predicament, fear not. I have friends in high places. And, for the right price, they have agreed to help me. When the slaves attempt their pitiful revolution, a man will come to you dressed in rags. He will bring you to me. I shall say you are my missing brother. We will be Lord and Lady Dakar. I'm afraid I cannot get you off-world and back to your beloved family, but I promise to make your every moment here a joy. Our lifestyle will be the envy of all, and we'll attend parties at the Nexus Room every night. Be ready to join me, my love. Wait, so the lady is his lover, but now he's posing as her brother? That's disgusting. Sounds like the Nexus Room is where we'll find these weirdos. This whole planet is weird. I am with you there. Let's go meet this Lord and Lady Daka. Lead on, boss. There, sir. Just as I said. That looks like him, alright. Bounty Hunter. I am Sergeant Warlax of the Imperial Navy. You are commanded to hand over all your weapons and gear immediately. How about I just hand over the ammo instead? Don't get cute, off-world scum. Remember, you're an outsider here. I can shoot you just as easily as bring you in. Sergeant, Taro Blood here. Have you completed my little errand yet? Blood, you steaming pile of filth! Blast it! I told you not to call on this channel! Everyone who doesn't want to die, leave now. Oh, this is ridiculously tiresome. He's still alive? What is wrong with you, Sergeant? Sir? Who's that guy? Blood. I'll talk to you later. Ignore the chatter, men. Let's take this hunter in. 
I don't know what's going on here, Sarge, but I know it stinks. Yeah. Either you cut us in on this deal, or we walk. You can't spend credits if you're all dead. That makes a whole lot of sense. Let's get out of here. I'm with you. Cowards! The rest of you, attack! Yes, may I help you with something? Darling, please don't speak to that filthy vagabond. It's clearly not supposed to be here, and we shouldn't let ourselves look like we approve. Come, let us get a drink. Not much of a family resemblance between you and your brother. We, we, we had different mothers. Yes, that's right. We're only half-siblings. Uh, unless I'm misremembering. Stow it, darling. Just feel the smug knowledge radiate from him. We knew this might happen eventually. Yeah, only so long you can keep dating your brother before something goes wrong. So you know our little secret. What does an insignificant creature like you want? What would make you dare threaten the noble? I was promised a pile of credits to take him back to the Republic. You mean back to my family, don't you? But I thought, uh... You, you told me I was trapped here. That I would have to forget my family. That this, this charade was the only way. Inside voice, darling. I may have exaggerated a bit, but hasn't it been nice here? The parties, the late nights, the intrigues and such? You witch! Keeping me here as your plaything when I could have been home with my sisters and dear mother. Ugh, you can be such a whiny pain. It's a wonder your nobility. Let us make a new deal, bounty hunter. No deals. You give me El Tucker now. Oh, stop testing my patience. The only reason you aren't dead is because I'd rather not cause a scene. Should have thought of that before you became a Republic noble lover. Ouch. I'm getting very close to wanting you dead. My darling, my lovely Al Tucker. Wouldn't you rather stay here with me than run home to your pathetic Republic family? What? Of course not. You treat me like a pet and this planet is disgusting. In fact, I'd rather... Yes, yes, you've made your tiresome viewpoint clear. Then here is what I propose. I assume Al Tucker's family will pay less for just his body. Kill him, show me the slip, and I'll compensate you the difference. Oh, what? You want him to kill me? You think I'd let you walk away and be someone else's pet? Never. This keeps getting more disturbing. She's insane. Please take me back to my family. It would mean so much to them, to my poor mother. I don't kill people unless I have to. You've made a very big mistake here today. Now take this thing and leave. Your kind does not belong here. I'm too good for this place. Just leave. So this is pretty priceless. There's a ton of buzz on the net about someone breaking into Father's place. Father has been throwing credits around to find out who did it. No takers. Nemro's paying them to keep quiet. He's having way too much fun watching Father suffer. How are Net coming up with any other info? Republic politics, rumors about the war... Eh, nothing worth mentioning. You know, Brayden used to say I was unique for having this Holonet link. But I have no clue how I got it. I've had this implant forever. Parents must have had me teched out as a baby. Who does that? Maybe they were thinking about your future. That's hard to imagine. The parents who abandoned me, thinking about my future. Brayden was always encouraging me to look for my past, and... I figured street kid from Nar Shaddaa, what's to know? Now, gotta admit he was right. Something weird there. You want any help? Let me know. Be careful about promises, buddy, or you'll wind up volunteering to wrestle rancors on Hutta. Thanks. Really, I appreciate it. Your second bounty's a bit of a mystery. Apparently, whoever's stacking the deck against you gonna keep right on stacking. Hardly surprising. What I got here is a classified red flag request from Imperial Command. No details, just flashy warnings and a contact. Admiral Frabal, Imperial Navy. I don't see what the big deal is. You haven't dealt much with Imperials, have you? They make huts look downright honest. Here's the slip. Frabal's in the city, not all that far a stroll. Go get him. This is the office of Admiral Frabal of the Imperial Navy. Do you have business here? You work for the Admiral? What's he like? It's against regulation to discuss superior officers. Not to mention bad form. 
Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm very busy. I have a job slip from your boss, moron. I really couldn't care less what you... What's all that racket out there, soldier? There's a quarrelsome individual here, Admiral. Rather dirty, too. Quarrelsome? You're as weak as you are, stupid. I requested a mercenary from the Mandalorians. Send that person in immediately. Yes, sir. You may go in now. I'll bet you get a demerit for that, Lieutenant. <laughs> You're terrible. The Admiral is waiting. Come in, mercenary. I apologize if my secretary caused you grief. He was of low birth and his intelligence reflects it. I'm afraid many of our Imperial soldiers are hopeless with delicate tasks. This is, of course, why I asked for a professional. Bad soldiers are the result of bad leadership. Often true, unfortunately. I haven't the luxury of training my assistants personally. I must take what Central Command sends me. That, of course, is neither here nor there. You've come to perform a service. My daughter has become something of a liability to me. I want you to kill her. That's something you don't hear every day. Then I'll assume you're newly arrived to Drum and Cuss. Things work a bit differently here. My daughter was born Force-sensitive and trained to be Sith. A great honor for our family. Unfortunately, my daughter's master is one Lord Grathen, a madman who is now disgraced in the eyes of the Dark Council. Why not just get her a new master? It's outside of my control. The Sith manage their own affairs, the rest of us merely suffer the consequences. If Lord Grathen's compound is raided and my daughter captured or killed, every member of her family will suffer. This is Sith politics. In the best case scenario, I lose my rank and position. In the worst, this is one messed up way to run a planet. You deal with the empire you have, not the one you might wish you had. Lord Grathen is a paranoid madman. His compound is built to withstand a siege. But a lone infiltrator will take them by surprise. My daughter is somewhere inside Lord Grathen's compound. Her name is Veretta. You will know her as she resembles me closely. Is there going to be fallout for taking down a Sith? Not as long as nobody knows what happened. Hang on, I've been running some data. Turns out renegade Sith Lord followers rack up death marks like crazy. Lord Grathen's top people all have prices on their heads. It'd be a shame to let those bounties go to waste. And we might need those extra credits to gear you up for the big melee. Remember, discretion is essential. Do not let yourself be captured. Good luck. Oh, what have we here? You're not even a Mandalorian, are you? When Lord Grathen's spy said my father contacted the Mandalorian Enclave, I expected they'd at least send me a real live Mandalorian. I'm afraid I'm a tad disappointed. What does it matter who kills you? A woman has to have standards. Wait, you don't seriously think you can kill me? I mean, I'm a Sith and you're just... whatever you are. Oh, we've got a true believer. Then again, it makes sense. Why would you come here if you thought you'd die? Apparently, my father isn't the only one living in a dream world. You can't kill a Sith, you silly. Why don't we test that theory? Wonderful. I love that line. Uh, what? I, I lost? I can't lose. I'm Sith. Someone's been filling your head with garbage. Can't die like this, falling to some common bounty hunter. Everything Lord Grothen told me was a lie. I've been living in a dream world. It can't end like this. It can't. You're not the first Sith who died from arrogance, and you won't be the last. I just can't believe it. Reports of the raid on Lord Grathen's estate are pouring in. I trust you were successful in your endeavor. My daughter, Veretta, is... She's as dead as it gets. Yes. Just as you say. Here, take your credits and go. You'll understand if I say I never want to see the face of my daughter's murderer again. You may not want to go looking in any mirrors for a while. Just go! Come on. He needs to be alone with what he's done. You're alive! Some Mandalorian big shot named Carol Blood said you were dead. They're about to start the melee without you. I can't wait to kill that man. You're gonna have to wait until after the melee. All the other hunters who survived are already inside. Get in there! Nothing will stand in my way. That's the spirit. The melee is over! 
One hunter remains! <laughs> Quite a show you put on. Blasted fun to watch. How do you feel, Hunter? I just stomped my competition into the dirt. I feel great. <laughs> Enjoy it. Things only get harder from here. <laughs> this is simply ridiculous. I mean, really. This needs to stop right now. You die, scum. No! No! No unsanctioned kills in the Great Hunt! You see? That's a perfect example. I object to this farce. This ignorant thug does not deserve to enter the Great Hunt. His credentials are a lie, fabricated by his little gutter rat of a sidekick. He deserves no honors. You lying, cheating, murdering scum! We know this hunter's history, blood. The Huntmaster has ruled. You fools! This is a place of honor, a competition of elites. Mandalore will hear of this. I sure hope you're not gonna cry. Enough! Before this great hunt is over, I will have your skull in my hands. Well, the great hunt just got way more interesting. Sorry to interrupt, Huntmaster. Please continue. <coughs> Get all that, Hunter? What happens when I win this contest? Fame, glory, wealth, and a chance to work with Mandalore, the greatest leader in the galaxy. You'll be hunting targets spread across the galaxy. There'll be at least one other Hunter going for them, too. You not only have to take down your target, you have to eliminate the other Hunters. What if I don't get to my targets first? And you'll have hunters gunning for you instead of the other way around. Your handler, Krista, will fill you in on the rest of the details. She's waiting for you. Who? Oh, what a thrashing! The other handlers are all bug-eyed jealous you won. Now, on to the great hunt. I expect you want to hear about your targets. I wiped the floor with my competition back there. <laughs> I know. Snuck me a peek while it was happening. Good fun. Here's how it's gonna work. First, you're getting a starship. No more shuttle rides for me. It ain't gonna be quite that easy. We'll talk about it in a second. On your ship's computer, you'll access two holo recordings, both with specific details on who and where you hunt. What's Terrell Blood gonna be doing? The same thing. That's how the Great Hunt works. Each target will have another hunter assigned to it. You have to locate that rival and take him out, too. Maybe we'll get lucky and Tarot Blood will be on their first target. Now, about your ship, there's a tradition for new hunters. You gotta steal one for yourself. I can already tell this is gonna be a blast. That's what life is for a hunter. Now, let's find you that perfect ship, yeah? I know one that belongs to one of them so-called importer types. Fast, smooth, and roomy. I'll pull together your holo recordings for the great hunt targets and transmit them when you hit space. Meantime, head to the spaceport. Get past whatever guards are around, steal your ship, and hit the hyperlanes. My trigger finger needs some exercise. <laughs> Still? You've been working it non-stop since you got here. Your first round of targets are on Balmora and Narshada. Good luck to you, Hunter. All right, you disgusting pile of puke! Drop your weapon and kiss the floor! This is one starship that's not getting stolen on my watch. You hear me, scum? Can you repeat all that into this barrel? You filthy off-world virus! had three ships stolen this year by the Mandalorians and their unwashed cohorts. Of course, not all Mandalorians are bad. Taro Blood was nice enough to tell me about this little tradition of yours. I really need to kill that guy one of these days. Karakimi, Anikak Nikak, Kanyak Gak Akigwamjam. You heard the man, at him! 
rules or no rules, Tarot Blood dies the next time we see him. Right? That scum is living on borrowed time. Oh, I hate this. I don't want to feel this way about anyone, but I just... I want to make him pay. Don't worry, Mako. It's gonna be all right. Don't get all mushy on me. I was just saying is all. We'd better get moving. We've got a great hunt to win, right? You. Take a number and get in line. You see this blaster? It means we get to jump to the front of the line. We've come to collect a debt from you, and we expect payment in full. We Corellians are very particular about our debts. You killed our brother Vex, you pile of scum! You got anything to say for yourself? Take off before you regret it. We're not afraid of you, and neither was Vex. He was the galaxy's best gunfighter. He was that Corellian bank robber on Hutter, right? The fast draw guy. You couldn't take him in a stand-up fight, so you shot him in the back. Now you're going to pay the price. The name Taro Blood ring a bell? He told us how you slaughtered Vex and then killed the old man, Brayden, when he discovered your crime. Brayden? I, I can't believe even Taro would stoop that low. Brayden was more than just my mentor. He was my friend. Taro killed him. The only one getting fried here is you, and for nothing. You're gonna die for a lie. Hang on, Vi. What if the bounty hunter's telling the truth? You take the word of this mongrel who killed our brother? No, but I'm not sure I trust Taro Blood either. What if we're being used? Taro sent other people after me too, and they're all dead. Don't believe it, Bor. He's trying to scare us off. What if he wasn't shot in the back? If this bounty hunter killed Vex in a fair fight, what chance do we have? You're smarter than you look, Vor. If I'm gonna die, it ain't gonna be because I was too dumb to walk away. Let's go. But what about Vex? We made a promise. Our brother's dead. Getting ourselves killed won't change that. Come on. Ah, there you are. Just in time. Admiral Ivanus's shuttle has already arrived. I hope you're ready. You're the one who needs to be ready. Yes, quite right. Steady, deep breath. Admiral Ivanus, sir. I can't tell you what a singular honor and pleasure this is. You worthless incompetent. I, I beg your pardon, sir. What, what have I done, sir? It's what you failed to do. You're in charge of intelligence. Colonel Sartius's failures are your failures. No, no, sir. I warned Colonel Sartius there were many problems with your strategies. Silence, you pathetic excuse for an officer. I've come all the way here just to see you executed in person. No, sir. I can explain. I just... You, bounty hunter. Help the Admiral understand. Explain it to him. Keep talking, Perel. I'm really enjoying this. You brought a bounty hunter with you, Perel? What were you thinking? Thinking is not one of Perel's strengths, Admiral. What in the Emperor's name is that? Murgia. What? My name's Murgir, Admiral Ivernus. I'm a bounty hunter on the Great Hunt, and I am here to kill you. I was wondering when my competition would show up. Competition? Of course. Ha! Well played, Hunter. What is the Great Hunt? Guards, blast them! All of them! No! Not me! Ah! Please don't kill me. I, I beg you. I don't want to die. I I'll transfer a large sum of credits to your account, and, and I'll blame the Kafa for everything. Just please don't kill me. For the love of the Emperor, let me live. I'm not leaving any witnesses. It hurts. It 
really hurts. Can't say you didn't have it coming. Good riddance. Did you know Mergir was the other bounty hunter all along? To be honest, I had no clue. Never trust overly agreeable women. Well, except me. Looks like we're done with beautiful Balmora. We should get gone while the getting's still good. Been poking around the Hollow Net, heard a few things that seem suspicious. A Jedi to Imperial Colonels and a hut came down with bad cases of dead within hours of each other. Had to be great hunt targets. Doesn't matter what the other hunters are doing. Stick with me and we'll win this for Brayden. Too bad we can't bottle that crazy optimism of yours. We'd make a fortune. So, I looked up the manufacturer of my implant. Weird stuff. Exclusively government contractor. Everything on this model is classified. Guess your parents had plans for you. Maybe following in their footsteps? You think they were SIS? Whoever my parents were, they got their hands on one mother of a top secret gadget. Don't know what that means yet, but I intend to find out. Welcome to Nar Shaddaa, Hunter. Sleaziest place in the galaxy. Your target is the Eidolon, a professional assassin with a right scary reputation. Branded himself as the assassin who could kill absolutely anybody. For the right price, of course. Spent several years proving it, too. His background is a mystery, but he used to do a lot of work for the Hut Cartel. I'd suggest looking up Gellerin, a Twi'lek who works for the Cartel. Word is he hates the Eidolon more than just about anybody. Oh, and when you find your bounty hunter rival, give him my best before you blast him to pieces. Happy hunting. Arshada, I always knew I'd find my way back here. Just didn't picture it quite like this. You're from Narshada originally. Yep. Grew up on the streets. Those were some nasty times. Then Brayden took me away from all that. A few things you should know. The Hut Cartel pretty much runs this place, with the Exchange and various gangs trying to carve out their own peace. Krista mentioned Gellerin might help us track down the Eidolon. I remember that Twi'lek. Used to be a scummy slaver. Had a bad rep. A real ruthless creep. Let's hope he decides to be cooperative. You'll convince him. You have a way with people. A lot of things might have changed while I was away. Let me track him down. Should we head to the Promenade and see what Gellerin has to say? I'm sick of excuses. I'll feed all your worthless slugs to a rancor if I have to. You hear what? Hey, excuse me? Hey, nobody just walks in here, huh? Nobody. I'm a bounty hunter hunting the Eidolon. Interested? The Eidolon? What? You're kidding me, right? No. C tell me you're kidding. You're, you're not kidding. All right, I'll bite. Boys, hey, get out of here. Get us some refreshments. The Eidolon did some work for us, you know. He could kill anybody, anywhere. This guy was unbelievable. Does he have a real name? Never met him in person. When you do that, you die. The cartel always communicated with him via Holo. But then, at the top of his game, the Eidolon announces he's getting out of the assassination business, opened a security company. Suddenly, half the corporations here were clients of Eidolon security, and were no longer paying the Hut cartel. Hey, Gellerin, I haven't finished slicing those casino lugjack machines, but I thought that... Anuli? That's Mako! Everyone said she was dead! The Rodian brothers grabbed her! Someone saved me from those antenna heads, Anuli. A good friend. He took me away to Hutta. You two know each other? Anuli and I grew up together on the streets. He's like my little brother. Can we get back to business? Yes? Look, nobody knows how to find the Eidolon, but if you hurt his company, he'll find you. I've seen it before. The Eidolon's biggest client is the Republic. Eidolon Security supplies those ganks with billions of credits worth of munitions every year. Billion credits worth of munitions would blow up a whole lot of marks. Eidolon Security's got a stockpile of munitions bound for the Republic Army. Crates are at their manufacturing facility in the Karelian Sector. If that facility were to blow up, the Eidolon would owe the Republic billions of credits, which I'm guessing, hey, he ain't got just lying around. Can't use thermal detonators. Too small. Need beradium charges, like the ones Brel made, before he blew up. Hang on, hang on. Wait, hey, you're hearing that out of context. Brel blew himself up because he got cocky. These beradium charges are perfectly safe. You got my word. Always wanted to go out with a bang. That's the spirit. Ha! I wish I had a dozen of you working for me. Uh, uh, you know, with me. 
The charges are magnetic. You gotta put them on the power generators for maximum yield. One in the control center, too. A facility that size will have several generators. It's pretty standard. They'll be easy to spot. The charges are on a synchronized timer. Now, after you planted the last one in the control room, set the timer, then get out of there. Did you feel it? Ha! <laughs> the Eidolot's property will rain down on the streets for days. I could already hear his holo conversation with the Republic. With those, our billions of credits going up in smoke? <laughs> Maybe the Eidolon will ask you for a loan. <laughs> yeah, I'd give my left leg to see that gank beg me for credits. I got some discretionary funds from the cartel to deal with these sorts of problems. I think you've earned more than a few. The hunter's gotta know. Galloran should talk about it. Mako said it was important. She said so. Wait, what did you find, Anuli? Ah, oh, for the love of frying and credits, we're discussing business here. Strange weapon orders. Armor plating, blaster cannons, defense shields. Shipped to an abandoned warehouse in the Dural sector? Makes no sense. Armor plating. Hang on, that sounds really familiar. Let me check something. Talk to me, Mako. I asked Anuli to help me watch for possible bounty hunter arrivals and to look out for anything weird. And this is, even for Nar Shada. Nobody ships expensive hardware to empty buildings. Or if they do, they hide it better. Here it is, the Zargnor clan. I knew those weapon parts sounded familiar. A clan of Ugnaughts got into the Great Hunt by building a bizarre war droid that they would ride inside of. The thing's blaster cannons blew up during the Grand Melee. Everyone was killed except the Ugnaughts inside the armored droid, making them the winners. Wished I'd seen that. Worth the price of admission, that's for sure. Hey, as possible rival bounty hunters go, these might not be too bad. Assuming they haven't finished their new war droid. But it'd probably be a good idea to get them before they finish. You're assuming they haven't blown themselves up. Yeah, maybe they already have. You never know. The warehouse they ship the parts to is in a really sketchy part of town. It'll be tough to get to. Look, hey, I don't know what this is about, and I don't think I want to know. Take care of your personal business. When you get back, we'll chat more about the Eidolon. What are you little fellas building? Are you threatening me, little one? Bounty hunters, really? What a coincidence. I'm on the big hunt, too. My feelings exactly. It's easier and cleaner if I prove you're dead. Oh, come on. Look at them. They're so cute. Couldn't we just let them go? I'll do it against my better judgment. So, uh, what? Everything taken care of? No more problems? Huh? Good. Good. My people are looking for signs the Eidolon is on the move. So far, it's quiet. I think he's watching. Not the sort of behavior I was hoping for. Not if you want to meet him anytime soon. And I want that very much. See, if I get rid of the Eidolon, the cartel makes me a full-fledged boss with my own clan. And all we gotta do is take out one little assassin and his pet corporation. What a fragging deal, huh? Mako said the hunter will take me away from here. I help find the Eidolon, I get off Narshada. Mako said so. If that's the deal Mako made, I'll honor it. Thanks. This means a lot to me. I'll owe you one. Now that's settled. Let's get back to the job of driving Eidolon security out of business. One of Eidolon security's slogans is, Your secrets are our secrets. So what if you were to make all those confidential records public? It has potential. Potential? What, you fragging kidding me? Just picture me. A 
every contract, every shady deal, all the security specs of every single one of the Eidolon's clients at anyone's disposal. Hey, Anuli, what do I pay you for, huh? How do we put Eidolon security's records on the Holonet? That's real hard. Eidolon's Holonet transceivers are in the network access sector. Heavily guarded. You gotta slice into those to get to their records. But gotta get past these encryption programs first. You need Z's codes from him. Also a top-notch slicer to access Eidolon's network. Z's a Biff engineer, best Holonet security expert money can buy. He won't just give you those codes. I can be very persuasive. I've seen that firsthand, friend. I'd give you whatever you wanted. Z's currently consulting for a Republic company called Nebula Communications. I'd suggest you blast your way into Nebula's corporate office in the industrial sector, grab some security slug, force him to tell you where Z's at. I'm back with Z's codes. Ha! Wish I could have seen the look on Z's face. Anuli, we good? Everything looks legit. Beautiful work. Z's code is like music. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let, uh, yeah. Isolate the ones we'll need and hand the pad back to our hunter friend. Eidolon Security's transceiver codes are marked. Easy to spot. They'll disable the encryption programs. No problem. Why did I need these codes again? They're gonna get you access to all of Eidolon Security's confidential files. Once we get those, the Eidolon's personal business will be everybody's business. <laughs> Eat that, you ganks! <laughs> okay, so... On to phase two of our plan to scrag Eidolon Security's rep and drive their clients away. Anuli? Gotta access Eidolon Security's data transceivers. Input these codes, then slice into Eidolon's network, download their files. Here's a holonet transmitter. Once you've accessed Eidolon's network, put this on the transceiver. It'll let Anuli upload the file straight to the holonet. Eidolon Security's entire database is on the holonet. That's bad. Real bad. For them. The transceivers are in the network access sector. Security is going to be tight. And the Eidolon will have his best men protecting those transceivers. Feel free to kill as many as you want. Okay, that should take care of Z's encryption programs. Transmitters in place. Let me slice into Eidolon's network. Wow, this is tough. I knew he wasn't kidding. The Eidolon's hole in it, guys. Know their stuff. It's professional, that's for sure. Lucky we're better. Looks like their clients were getting their money's worth. Come on. Come on. I'm in. I'll contact Anuli. Anuli, are you getting this? That's quite a data stream, huh? Beautiful. All Z's work. Symphony math. Downloading the files onto the Holonet now. Stand by. Let's get out of here before more of the Eidolon's mercs show up. They're way too good with those blasters. Z was right. You must be insane. Otherwise, why would you be here? You have very little time to talk. Don't spend it posturing. Who put you up to this? Was it the cartel? Professionals don't divulge contacts. You understand? Doesn't matter. We'll get the intel one way or another. Eliminate the threat! Now! He found us! It's too late! He's here! He found us! Get out of there. Move it. No way to run! He'll find you! He always finds you! We're all dead! Get away! Get away from me! Bingo! No! Ah! <laughs> we have to get there! We have to save him! Time to take out the Eidolon. We're coming, Anuli. Anuli! Oh no! Oh no! I'm sorry, Mako. He just wanted a better life. He never hurt anybody. Come on, we'll avenge him. Yes. Yes, that's what we should do. That's what we have to do. What's our next step? We need to find Gelrin. He's probably hiding. Assuming he's still... What was that? those things. I can't believe he's gone. I never should have left him. It's all my fault. Again. We can still avenge him. Yes. I want to make Eidolon pay. Look. 
look, the holo communicator on Galeran's desk is blinking. Maybe he's still alive, sending us a message. Oh, there you are. It's been a bit of a challenge tracking you down. I figured you for a rogue agent, but the question was, for whom? I should have known. Galeran's the only one stupid enough to do this. I never figured the great Eidolon for a coward. Well, the night is young. I must admit, I'm rather impressed that one person could be responsible for so much damage. If you wish to meet me, come to these coordinates. I'll be sitting right here, waiting for you. Of course, the second you step out of the door, you're dead. Shame, really, since our confrontation would have been most exhilarating. My trigger finger needs some exercise. Likewise. And after I'll admire your head on my wall every day. Well, Hunter, I'm sad to say this is goodbye. Well, here we go. Let's be careful with this crazy. Unbelievable. Here you stand. Alive. Who are you? And why are you doing this? Sometimes a body gets bored and wants a challenge, you know? That's insane. By coming here, you've assured your death, nothing more. It was a pleasure to meet you. Opponents like you are very rare and precious. I regret having to kill you. Wait, I've got a priority message from Solash. He's another cartel lieutenant. He's offering a huge bounty if you bring him the Eidolon, alive. The Huts want to do terrible things to you. Oh, come now. You'll never claim that bounty. But then... If we don't have our dreams, what do we have? Come, it's time to die. Well, what are you waiting for? You've done it. You've beaten me. Finish it now, and be remembered forever as the hunter who killed the Eidolon. You're mighty proud of yourself, aren't you? I don't lie, and I don't exaggerate. Never had to. Listen to me. I'm appealing to your sense of honor as an equal. Don't hand me over to the cartel. Kill me now. I deserve that much. He killed your friend. You decide. He deserves to die, but nobody deserves what the Huts will do to him. Give him what he wants. As you wish. Truly am a spectre. We're not like the Eidolon, right? We're different. What do you mean? I mean, assassins kill people for money. You kill people for money. How are you different from the Eidolon? I can choose to bring them in alive. I wonder if that's any better. Maybe it's worse. I guess we still have work to do. I hope the rest of our targets are nothing like this guy. Should we get out of here? I want to get as far away from Narshada as possible. You'll get no argument from me. Ugh, I told you this place was ugly and sleazy. Remember Lord Daka? The Altakas announced his triumphant return home from harrowing captivity. He's already being asked to travel and talk about it. Wonder exactly how much he'll tell about his little adventure. Might have to pick up a recording and find out. So, I've been wondering what kind of people put classified government doodads in their kids' heads. Figured there had to be something in the official records I could dig up. Don't suppose you found something worth some credits? I wish. Nothing came up in official channels. Means I probably wasn't born on the Smuggler's Moon. But I figure someone on Arshadaw's gotta remember them, right? Just have to keep asking. You must have some notion who they were. No, but I like to imagine they're smugglers, tragically shot down hauling a cargo of illegal gizkas. Been talking to some people. One of my contacts just had some guy in Arshada asking about me. Probably one of these in every spaceport. You should learn to let him down easy. Cute, real cute. No, not anyone I know. My contact says the guy practically screams spook. He's asking about my whereabouts. Goes by the name of Carteri. The spook, not my contact. I think we have time to pay him a visit, don't you? Let's look him up, find out who sent him. 
All right, then we have a plan. Coral, well, this is a surprise. Never thought you'd just turn yourself in. Okay, first thing, my name's not Coral. Second, what are you talking about? Right, of course not. I suppose you're just here for a friendly chat then? Who sent you after Mako? I want a name. There is no Mako. You've been had. I can imagine what she's told you, Hunter, but you're being played. She's anything but a helpless little girl. Your intel is worthless. This isn't Coral. Assuming I buy that, what do you want me to do? Hey, I've got an idea. Maybe you could tell me who Coral is and who sent you. Let's keep this short, shall we? I don't want anyone seeing us and reporting this. And I'm not stupid enough to draw on you. Here's everything I was given on my target. Take it and go. That iPad's encrypted. See if I can crack it later. This thing... She really does look like me, huh? She's got nothing on you. No, she definitely looks like me. Guess I have plenty to keep me busy for a while. We should get going. That guy, Carteri from Narshada, remember him? Doesn't exist. We met him, so he's real. Fake identity? I don't know. I'm not sure he wasn't a hollow, or maybe a bunch of Minox in a human suit. I can't find out anything about him. Nothing. Trying a little hard to dig up intel on a guy we left in the dust, aren't you? You jealous? Of a guy who squealed at the first sign of a blaster? <laughs> Today just keeps getting better. You know what's weird? The more I look at that holo of coral, the more it makes me think. If I've got a sister, what else have I got? Aunts? Uncles? Cousins? Maybe I've been missing family dinners for my whole life. You find your long-lost family, next thing you know, they're hitting you up for a loan. Or asking me to do the dishes. Guess I'm better off. Still, I've got to wonder, how are they connected to SIS? Something I need to figure out. Welcome to the final round, Hunter. Contact your handler when you're ready to proceed. Good hunting. Just start prepping my parade. If you're looking to be surrounded by cheering fans, you really need to work on your personal skills. Looks like someone's been trying to get through. What do you bet it's Krista waiting to talk our ears off? I know who you are, Hunter. You have made an enemy of Taro blood. Even now, Taro's comrades head to Narshada to discuss ways to eliminate you from the Great Hunt. I am sending you the coordinates of that meeting. I do not know how long they'll be there, so I'd suggest haste. What's your interest here? These Mandalorians chose not to participate in this great hunt so that Tara would have a clear shot at victory. This was a dishonorable act, unworthy of our traditions. It should not go unpunished. Tara robbed you of your allies in this competition. It seems only fitting that you return the favor. I like the way you think. There is no finer thing than the blood of an enemy righteously slain. Go to Narshada. Confront those who have dishonored you and my people. Show them what it means to be a true warrior. That was Hedar Soon. I, I can't believe it. A hero of yours? Soon was the youngest bounty hunter ever to win the Great Hunt. But that was over 65 years ago. Oh, he had an amazing career. Most of the crazy hunter stories out there are attributed to him. He's what bounty hunting is all about. If Soon wants to help us, we should seriously consider heading to those coordinates. I remember you. You shot Brayden back on Hutta. What What the hell are you doing here? Doesn't matter. You saved us the trouble of hunting you down. Stand down, Sidon. A matter of honor has brought all of you here today, and it shall be settled as such. Commander, what's going on? You owe this hunter a debt of blood, Sedan, and I would like to see at least one of my pupils redeemed before I die. I guess these weren't your star pupils. Once, perhaps. Now they are cowards who embrace deceit and treachery. Taro followed your codes, Commander. He stood tall in the last great hunt, and the others pulled him down like a pack of wild beasts. 
He learned from that, and this time he will take us to the top. Taro does this for his wounded pride alone. Why can't you see that? Some people were born to ride coattails. Taro's their shortcut to fame. I believe you are correct, Hunter. A Tong blood duel will resolve this dispute. A duel to the death. Challenge Seddon. A true Mandalorian must accept. Sounds good to me. Bring it on, Seddon. I accept. Relu, your fight is my second. You've dug your own graves. Well fought, Hunter. I see in you the future of my people. That's quite a compliment coming from you. I merely speak the truth. This matter is settled. The rest of you shall allow this hunter to finish the great hunt in peace. No, Commander. Our pledge to Taro stands. You are no Mandalorians. That make you feel tough, shooting an old man? I did him an honor. Better he die for his cause than in his bed. Now it's your turn. It's fitting that I die here, surrounded by my failures. Taro mustn't win the great hunt. Don't let his example lead others down the easy path. Keep honor alive among my people. Show them that the old traditions, the code of the warrior, is worthy of defending. I'll stop, Taro. The rest is up to the Mandalorians. You walk a treacherous path, Hunter. Unless you believe in something, you will become an empty shell. Or a rabid dog. In the end, all you have is your dignity. Taro isn't worthy of such a great teacher. Not by a long shot. If we ever see him again, I'll tell him that before you blast him. We should probably get back to Krista now that we don't have to worry about Taro's cronies messing up the final round. I'm not gonna let Soong's sacrifice be for nothing. Well, looky here. I got myself a hunter who's reached the last leg of the great hunt. Ain't I just a lucky gal? How about something serious for your final mark? You ready for this, sugar? You're hunting Jedi Master Kelly and Jaro, the Mandalorian killer himself. A Jedi Master should help cement my reputation. This fella's no slouch, that's for sure. At the Battle of Coruscant, Jaro single-handedly gave over a hundred Mandalorian soldiers the big push. Word is he's on board the Republic cruiser Aurora, so that's where you're headed next. You gotta take out Jaro and the Aurora to finish this hunt. Taking on a battle cruiser by myself, huh? Maybe I'll keep it as a memento. Cute, sugar, but keeping her ain't an option. Once you're aboard the Aurora, you'll need to blast her hyperdrive regulator in the engine room. And that gizmo protects the ship from the powerful forces of hyperspace. Then head to the bridge and set the ship to jump into hyperspace on a timer. When it does, boom, no more ship. Do I get credit for every man who goes down with a ship? Sorry, hon, this one's a package deal. Now that's all I ought to tell you. But I wrangled some, well, confidential information. One other hunter made it to the final round, and he's already headed to the Aurora. Care to guess who? Tarot blood! That slimy son of a... He's gotten away with Braden's murder way too long. He needs to pay. We'll step on his neck, Mako. Then fire until our blasters run dry. I hope I'm there to see it. Okay, Tarot blood deserves a rather gruesome end. I get that. But are we really going to fight a Jedi Master? Jedi are all talk. No, I'm all talk. Jedi Masters are something else entirely. Don't listen to him. I'm with you all the way. I'll transmit the Aurora's coordinates. Best of luck. Making the final approach on the Aurora's coordinates. ETA, two minutes. Everyone up front. There she is, the Aurora. Wow, pretty impressive. Don't think they detected us yet. Let's see what I can pick up on their comms. Oh boy, the ship's on alert. They've captured an intruder. They're calling it an Imperial assassination attempt on the Jedi Master. Looks like there was a reason Blood always got others to do his dirty work. Makes you wonder how he got this. What? We've been caught in a tractor beam. 
Attention unidentified vessel. This is the Republic Cruiser Aurora. You are in a restricted zone. Prepare to be brought aboard for a full inspection. If you offer any resistance, we will open fire. Well, what now? We wanted to get inside, didn't we? And we don't even have to park. They're really making it easy for us. Good point. Maybe if we ask real nice, they'll even take us right to Master Kelly and Jaro. And Taro, too. Okay, Taro, we're coming for you. Halt! You are under arrest. Lay down your weapons. You better have a good reason for this. Conspiracy to commit an act of terrorism against the Republic. We captured your accomplice, one Taro Blood, who implicated you when he confessed under Master Jaro's questioning. Someone makes baseless accusations and you're just gonna take his word for it? Master Jaro was certain. That's all the reason I need. Time to join your friend in the brig. You can plea your case when we ship you to Coruscant to stand trial. This is your last warning. Drop your weapons and surrender, or we will open fire. You're gonna want to get out of my way. You were warned! Open fire! So, you're still alive, huh? You might be worth killing after all. Hurry up and let me out of here so we can settle this once and for all. Unless facing me as an equal frightens you. You're not my equal. You failed. So, you're a coward, is that it? Come on. Surprise me. Open the door and face me like a warrior. I think I'll leave you in there. I challenge you. I demand we settle this. It's what Song would have wanted. It's what Brayden would have wanted. Brayden would have wanted to see you just how you are. You don't deserve a warrior's death, scumbag. Let's leave him. Let him die when the ship is ripped to pieces. I want him to know who the better hunter is before he dies. Yes, stay out of this street, Rat. This is between us. Now I get my gear, suit up, and we finish this right here, right now. Take your time. These are the last moments of your life. We'll see, won't we? You idiot. No real hunter would have given up his advantage and allowed a dangerous enemy to arm himself. No, I just have honor. You sound like that old fool had our song. And just like him, you'll find that honor gets you nothing. That's not fair. I was going to do great things. The galaxy was going to remember my name. You're sad, Taro. You should suffer as long as possible for what you did to Brayden. This is for Brayden, Jory, Sung, and me. It's over, guys. You've caused quite a bit of trouble, but I'm afraid it's over now. I'll ask you to drop your weapons and surrender. So... has that ever worked? Some people have sense. Others must be persuaded. You will drop your weapons and surrender to me. You will realize what a complete idiot you are. Master? Be still, Padawan. I will take care of this. This bounty hunter has a much stronger will than the other one. Listen, I know the Mandalorians want me dead, but the Battle of Coruscant was years ago. Revenge profits no one. I implore you not to throw your life away. Abandon this hunt. You have your codes, I have mine. Always fulfill a contract. Fendus, your lightsaber. Master! No, it's not possible, Master! What are you waiting for, bounty hunter? Kill me, just like you killed my master. Go on. I'm turning this ship to dust in a minute. I suggest you not be on it. We'll meet again, bounty hunter. I swear it. I'm glad you let her go. You did the right thing. There was no reason to kill her. That's a very good point. The cruiser can be set to jump into hyperspace at the bridge controls. Deactivating the tractor beam would also be a good idea. Then I'd blast the control panel just to be sure no one reverses what you've done. Then we run. You did it! I knew you would! You're amazing. It was pretty impressive work, and believe me, I know impressive. You're my hero. You know that, right? 
Better start planning my public appearances. Leave the booking to me. Gotta make sure you hit all the sleazy spots in the galaxy. Let me see that list when you're done. I'm sure I have a few to add. Brayden would have been so proud. So would Sue. You're who they were talking about when they spoke of great hunters. That means a lot to me, Mako. I call it like I see it. I'd say you made him blush, but I think that's blood. We should return to the Mandalorian Enclave on Drum and Koss to officially inform the Huntmaster of your victory. There'll be some sort of ceremony. Mandalorians are big on that. I'm sending them the news right now. Congratulations, Hunter. You've come a long way from your days on Hunter. Hey, the bone-faced guy. Glad you made it. Yes, Grata, the Great Hunt official. I'm pleased you remember me. I knew anyone Taro Blood took an interest in was worth watching. You have earned this moment in the sun, Hunter. The day is yours. You've made quite a name for yourself in victory, Hunter. Mandalore himself requested your presence aboard his flagship. He wants to congratulate his champion personally. We're getting an audience with Mandalore? You've gotta be kidding, I can hardly believe it. No more bit jobs and small paychecks for me. No, definitely not. Great hunt winners are destined for great things. Mandalore's waiting. This way. Mandalore, your champion presents himself. Glad a little war wasn't enough to keep you from meeting me, champion. I like a man who's not afraid to get his knuckles bloody. Welcome aboard the Spirit of Vengeance, both of you. It's an honor. That goes for me as well. This must be Mako. I've heard she's the brains behind your operation. Mako is more than capable. I've got a lot to thank you for. Shoring up that secret auction, avenging Hedda Soong, stopping that arrogant snot Tarot Blood. You had a good slog getting here. It says a lot that you aced Tarot Blood without stooping to his level. A damn lot. He was never any threat to me. That doesn't mean he was harmless. It could have cost us a lot. The Great Hunt isn't held for the sake of sport. It's meant to find the best the galaxy has to offer, usually to handle a task vital to the Mendoid. I have one more thing to ask of you before I know you are the one for it. How did I know this wasn't just a social call? Thought I'd bore you with tales of my glorious youth? Mandalorians prefer to inspire tales, not tell them. There is a cavern in the deep jungles of Dromund Kaz. Unnatural place, filled with all kind of abominations. There's something down there nobody's laid eyes on and lived to brag about it. I want you to kill it. I bet it ain't blaster proof. If the creatures brood are any measure, it just might be. My clans send their most promising warriors to bloody themselves on the beasts in the cavern. Head to their camp at these coordinates. We'll speak again when you've brought me a suitable trophy. As if drumming cost didn't already give me the creeps. Come on, let's go show this thing how scary you can be. The creature's dead, Mandalore. I've brought your proof. Then it's time I introduce you to the other grand champions of the Great Hunt. Meet your only peers in the galaxy. We've gathered here to induct you into our exclusive group, the only hunters in the galaxy with access to jobs on the legendary Blacklist. So killing the creature was an initiation? Yes, but not to the Blacklist. The Blacklist's as old as the Great Hunt itself, got its own traditions. I need your help keeping one alive. There's always been a Mandalorian in the group. Duty calls me away, so I want you to take my place. Keep a Mandalorian among the Grand Champions. You're telling me Mandalore is throwing in the towel? War's in the air. Mandalore's got a lead. Killing that beast was your ritual blooding. So you're already Mandalorian in spirit, if not in name. Now, do me the honor of joining my brothers and sisters in the Great Clan. 
Been waiting my whole life for this. I'm honored. Your life's just begun. Make it one no one will forget. Champions, it's time we drink. Let's see how much black ale my replacement can put away. I hate to leave such fine company, but it's time I got back to winning the Sith's wars for them. Champions, till we meet again. I haven't seen the old man that happy in a long time. How's it feel to be a Mandalorian? Like I'm part of something, not just another hired gun. Ah, oh, how sweet. Name's Bloodworthy. These two miscreants are Jula Nightbringer and the Defenestrator. We just wanted you to know we sent a little welcoming present to your ship. A Blacklist Bounty, one of the two oldest on record to be exact. Something to ease you into life at the top. I was wondering what I was gonna do with myself. Ah, uh, this ought to keep you busy for a while. We should get going. Our new friend here has plenty of work ahead of him. Don't be a stranger. Took you too long enough. You go for a job or a honeymoon? Nice to see you too. Well, somebody better cough up the gory details. The suspense is killing me. Mandalore offered me a place in his clan. Smart move. You just made us a lot of friends. Joining the Mandalorians is only the beginning. Come on, we've got work to do. Here's that blacklist posting they were talking about, locked up tight. Do the honors. This is it. The real deal. I can't believe it. Welcome to the big leagues, Mako. That is such an understatement you don't even know. In all the time I spent researching the Great Hunt, I only heard rumors about the Blacklist. According to the rumors, the only people who know how to place a bounty on the Blacklist are the most major players in the galaxy. This bounty's pretty sparse on details, just an encrypted hollow frequency in the location to call it from. Terrace. Ready to see what these jokers have in store for us? Warm up the engines. We're heading out. Systems are looking good. Look out, Galaxy. Here comes the Grand Champion of the Great Hunt. That new armor? I like it. it. Makes your arms look, uh, bigger. Not that they needed it. Got more than just armor I could show you. Really? Because I've been curious about the targeting system for your rocket launcher. Anyway, we've got things to do, people to hunt. You know SIS computers? <laughs> Way easier to slice than I thought. Which is sort of worrying now that I think about it. Did some poking around in a few classified Republic databases. Found my birth certificate. Well, uh, maybe. Found a dozen birth certificates, all with a gene stamp a lot like mine. I followed you up to poking. Everything after that could have been in hut ease. My family's records. It's gotta be. Parents, siblings, maybe grandparents, who knows what else. Uh, no names or dates, though. Just an SIS project number. 32. Have to keep looking to see what else I can find. Been running some diagnostics on the ship. Hyperdrive seems to need a little TLC. You gotta get it looked at. What's worse than a neglected hyperdrive? You could probably use some TLC too. All work and no play makes for a dull slicer. I wouldn't exactly say no to a vacation. We should go somewhere, just you and me. Look, I like you. You're fun, and you look good in door steel, but it's a really bad idea for us to get involved. Never makes business and pleasure, you know? Leads to trouble. A ah, little trouble might be fun. Don't hold your breath, big guy. Remember the SIS project number I found? 32? Turns out if you search for it in enough super-secret Republic databases, it gets noticed. Ran into a little, uh, trouble. Like, if I keep doing this, the chance of mysteriously disappearing goes up dramatically, sort of trouble. Anything happens to you, I don't know what I'll do. You know, you just can't find another slicer who'll put up with you. Figure there are other, less hazardous channels I can look into. I'll, uh, let you know if I decide to do anything stupid. Or, more likely, let you know after. 
Remember how I said I'd avoid SIS databases for the time being? I decided this was a good time to take a crack at the encryption on that SIS creep Carteri's datapad. The encryption is crazy. Someone threw a solid wall of credits into keeping this thing secure. Anyone goes to that much trouble to keep a secret? It's gotta be something serious. That's the scary part. I mean, I'm seriously getting the creeps now. What's my family involved in that's worth this kind of money to the Republic? You're really upset about this. I don't know if it's about my family or Brayden or just a puzzle I can't solve. It's making me crazy. Anyway, thanks for listening to me, Babel. Much appreciated. Yes, I guess, just throw their ciphers a party with clowns and a juggling bantha. Stupid data pad is impossible to decrypt, but not all is lost. Found a holo address for Coral, I think. I mean, it could be her. I sort of wanted you around when I called her. How could I pass this up? Go ahead when you're ready. Sure, because this will be fun. Sort of like flying into a black hole. Right, it's nothing to worry about. It's just a stupid call. Hello? Hi. Coral? It's Coral, right? I I'm Mako. Mother of... M Mako? My little sister Mako? I, I can't believe it. I thought... I, I thought you were dead. How did you find me? Wasn't exactly easy. I uh, ran into an SIS guy looking for you. Isaac? The SIS agent? Was his name Isaac? Don't know if it's weirder that you're being hunted by multiple agents, or that you know them all personally. Oh no. Uh, Mako, you've got to help me. Please. If you're going to tell me SIS is after you, I already figured that out. Carteris was one of the agents after me. Isaac's the one leading them. If he finds me... What? What's he want you for? I've gotta go. I I've been on this channel too long already. He's on Drum and Cost looking for me right now. If there's anything you can do to stop him. Wait, Coral, what's going on? Why is he after you? They're already trying to trace my location. I, I have to go, please. You're the only hope I've got. I sit with people never answering my questions. Gotta be hiding something. Oh, that was weird, wasn't it? It wasn't just me, right? She's really like me, isn't she? I really have a sister. Let's go to Drum and Koss. Hold it right there, Coral. For the love of- I'm not Coral! Don't do anything stupid, we should wait for Isaac. Are you crazy? What are we supposed to do, ask her to just behave herself? I'm just saying Isaac will be here soon, let's not jump the gun. Uh, hello? Guys, can we talk for a minute? Maybe Isaac will get here soon, or maybe he'll decide to stop for lunch first. We don't exactly have a lot of options here. Starting to look like you got all the brains in your family, Mako. No kidding, am I invisible? I should have shown up dressed in a Wookiee costume or something. Someone is gonna answer me this time. Hey, girls! Over here! Look out, she's attacking! <laughs> Sorry, did you say something? I'm sort of half here, not feeling so good. I keep seeing those dead girls. My sisters, I just feel queasy. Anyway, sorry, um, did you need something? I'm here if you need me. Thanks. Can you cure a massive case of being freaked out? I don't exactly know how to get over seeing myself. Two of me die. And you know the worst part? Coral didn't tell me, didn't say a word about other sisters. Coral has some explaining to do. No kidding. I'm getting answers out of somebody if it kills me. 
Or them. Uh, preferably them. Let's get moving before I get even more weirded out. So, you want to hear the latest news from the Holonet? There's a lot of buzz about you. Apparently, you have a fan club now. You gotta admit, they're onto something. They are. Admiring you from afar? Way better than being close enough to smell you. If one of us was gonna have fans, I'd think it would be you. You're really cute, you know that? It's not gonna work. It's a small ship. There's nowhere to go when things get ugly. We're just not meant to be involved. I don't care if we're meant to be. I still want you. There's that melty look again. I'm gonna go back to work now. What is it they say about curiosity again? Does it involve lavish paid vacations? Maybe Trando Shawnee flatcakes? So, I may have gone back into the SIS computers. Just a little. SIS probably won't mind at all then. Seem like real understanding guys. Sure. I mean, what could go wrong? Remember how I said I found birth certificates from my family? A dozen of them? Well, I found out that ten of them also have death certificates. I know you got your hopes up. Wish it had turned out better. I'll get over it. Not like I haven't got tons of orphan experience already. I guess it's just me and Coral now. Well, on that cheery note, let's move on, huh? Got a few minutes? Maybe you could give me a few pointers on my pistol technique. Guns and my favorite girl? Sign me up. You're so cute when you're thinking about shooting stuff. Because actually, I just wanted to show off. I've, I've got a new shot and I can't wait for you to see it. In fact, I'm sort of looking forward to seeing it in action myself. So what do you think? You're getting pretty good. Thanks. Let's move. I kind of want to shoot something now. Hey, got a minute? I wanted to talk to you. I just wanted to say thanks for the coral thing. You didn't have to do all that. I might this once accept payment and kisses. You can't go around saying stuff like that. We've got a business contract here. Stay professional. It's not about what I feel. We've got to work. Guess we'll have to stop working together. Okay, so all the stuff I said before, that whole not mixing work and whatever, I've officially changed my mind. Remember the guy Coral said was after her? Isaac, the one we were supposed to stop on Drum and Koss? Target didn't show up. Hard to forget that. Everything else is sort of dead-ended. I thought maybe I'd try to see what I could find on him. He's SIS. No surprise there. So there's not much to find. Except for this. He's assigned to Project 32. The same project all my relatives seem to be associated with. You got any idea what that means? I don't know yet. He's important, though, I can tell you that much. Searching for his name tripped all kinds of security, so don't be surprised if a lot of uniforms are looking for us. I think I might take up a new hobby for a while. A safer one, like, uh, Nexu grooming. Mind holding my hand while I do something stupid? Remember that data pad we got from Carteri about a million years ago? I cracked it. I got a holo frequency from Isaac. Mr. Project 32 himself. I can't do this without you. That's what I'm here for, stopping angry looks from strangers. Perfect. Just sort of stand there and look imposing. Pretty much like you always do. What's this? Okay, before we get started, let's set something straight. My name is Mako. M-A-K-O. Got it? Call me Coral, and so help me, I will find a way to punch you through the hollow net. Mako? And that's a name I never thought I'd hear again. We want answers. Start talking. Believe me, I would love to talk to Mako. I got plenty of questions myself. Unfortunately for both of us, I don't have much time for conversation at the moment. Funny how you just happen to be on your way out. You did manage to get me at a bad time. The team has pinpointed Coral's location. Finding her is my priority. They go. A word of warning. This isn't the life you want. Whatever happens, stay away from Coral. Why? What do you want with her? What did she do? She's killed most of the people involved in Project 32. I can only assume she'll try to kill you too. She's gotten almost everyone else. 
She wanted you to fight those girls on Drum and Cosmeco. Got what she wanted no matter who won. That low-down, motherless rancor. I mean, I, I knew it was fishy and I walked right into it. I'm such an idiot. Mako, a contact after my team's taken Coral into custody. We have a lot to talk about. Isaac, out. I'm intercepting all his outgoing transmissions. Looks like, yes, I have the coordinates he's sending out. You're doing real well at this waiting to hear back from Isaac stuff so far. Did you hear me say, sure, Isaac, I'll just sit here twiddling my thumbs until you call back. I've downloaded the coordinates to the nav computer. Let's go pay my sister a friendly visit. Hey, sis. Long time no see, huh? Mako? What are you doing here? How did you find me? Met some of our sisters. It was real sweet. Heartwarming, you might say. How oh, about that? I should have warned you. We already know you set us up. I didn't set you up, I swear. Project 32 is trying to frame me, Mako. The others were in on it. Help me slice his computer. If I can erase my records, I can just disappear. Nobody else will get hurt. Please. I've got two words for you, Coral. Bantha Dung. You used me. You wanted Isaac dead. You wanted the other girls dead. Quit pretending to be the victim. Funny how that wasn't good enough. Oh yeah, hilarious. I might bust a gut laughing about this later. Well, Coral, you have anything else you want to say before I watch Isaac cart your sorry behind out of here? So I set you up. So what? You don't matter. Neither do the others. None of you are even real people. I'm real. You think I wanted to be part of a set? Would you want that? I'm not like the rest of you. I'm unique. You're not even a person. <laughs> okay. doesn't matter. Nothing you do matters. Even if I die here, you won't be real. You're just a cheap copy, Mako. She hammers a lot for someone who's just been totally beaten, doesn't she? What do you want to do with her? S.I.S. can have her. She can rot for all I care. Mako? Is that you? How did... Nah, that's a stupid question. We'll take Coral from here. I guess we should thank you. Are you alright? I don't know what you guys are going to do to her, but I have a hunch she deserves it. The stuff she said about being a copy... What do you think that was supposed to mean? You're letting her get to you? I don't know. I feel pretty surreal right now. We're moving out. Make out, we'll have to talk later. Let's get out of here, okay? I want to be as far away from this place as possible. You know what? You're okay. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Uh, sort of egotistical, but still, okay. When Brayden first talked about you, I don't know what I expected, but whatever it was, you're better. What I want to say is, you're awesome, and if you were lost in the same sector, I would definitely give you directions. And if someone put a bounty on your head, I'd shoot him for you. You wouldn't collect on it first? That's really sweet of you. All right, anyway, you get the point. Let's get back to work. The Jedi are broken. The Republic forces are in disarray. Now is the time to strike. You will depart Corellia. Make for the Founder, the Supreme Chancellor's flagship, immediately. The Founder's landing codes will give the Republic fleet little reason to fire upon you. Were the landing codes the only thing of worth? Only the most relevant. The data retrieved from June Seros has proven invaluable. 
Captain Horn has prepared an SOS signal using the Republic's ciphers. When you leave the spaceport, you will be pursued by our ships. The Republic will allow you to board, or they risk allowing one of their own to die. We will give them no time for doubt. Should make a good anecdote for the next time I see Mandalore. Do not hesitate to dispatch your pursuers if they become troublesome. You will reach the Founder by any means necessary. Once on board, your first priority will be to destroy all crafts in the adjacent hangars, to prevent the Supreme Chancellor from escaping. Improvised demolition is one of my specialties. With no means of escape, only the Supreme Guard will stand between you and your prey. Time to see if the Supreme Guard live up to their name. I will await you on the Tyrant. The Supreme Chancellor's fate is sealed. So many people willing to lay down their lives for me. Should never have come to this. There's something I want to tell you, before you do what you came to do. Don't beg, Chancellor. It's unbecoming. Just bear with me. Consider it a last request, if that means anything. I reviewed the report surrounding the operation to apprehend you. It's atrocious. A monumental abuse of power. I don't condone what you were doing, but I understand it. It was just your job. June made it personal. You expect me to believe you had nothing to do with this? I watched you condemn me, live on the holonet. I authorized the operation to bring you to justice, but what June did was beyond his authority. I've already declassified the real details of yours and June's actions to the public. The fallout will be tremendous. No matter how our meeting concludes, I'll be removed from office. Hoping to get fired before I can claim my bounty? This isn't about me. It's about the truth. A Republic cannot be based on deception, especially on matters of war. The false accusations will disappear as the truth is separated from the lies. It's not a clean slate, but it's what you deserve. I'm willing to take things a step further, if you're willing to work with me. Give me a reason to believe anything you've said. The reports are right here. Take a look for yourself. Keep them. Whatever will allay your suspicion. My offer is immunity for your past crimes. The real ones. If you're willing to show me you're not firmly in the Empire's pocket. June believed you were in league with a Sith named Tormen. Is that true? Tormen sent me to collect your head. I feared as much. He's using us to make his mark. Tormund's a monster. His troops have been butchering Corellians. On Raban, he flattened kilometers of homes, businesses, hospitals. A man like that can't be given more power. Let's fix this while we're in a position to do so. Well, we haven't had much choice about working with Tormund until now. This could be our out. Tormund's had us under his thumb far too long. Keep your word and Tormund will disappear. At least we can agree on that. I understand the risk you're taking. Thank you. The Supreme Chancellor's been dealt with. Good. Make for the Tyrant. The fleet will cover your escape. We'll engage the Imperial fleet. But I'll have to survive this to hold up my end of the bargain. If you can somehow cripple the Tyrant after dealing with Tormund, we can handle the rest. I bet they barely patched the damage from the last time. You reek of vengeance and satisfaction. The Supreme Chancellor's death has excited your passions. Relish it. Experience some small measure of what it is to be Sith. Now, deliver what I have asked of you. I got an offer more in line with my work ethic. I expected better. was deserved. You were way overdue. Trusting in a tool, however useful, was a mistake. 
The task of delivering the master stroke I should have reserved for myself. The galaxy would know. None are beyond my reach. All would cower or they would burn. And the Dark Council would see how total victory is achieved. At least they won't have to see how far you missed the mark. I was hoping to find you alive. Quite a narrow escape. Darth Tormund was not as fortunate, I trust. I took care of him personally. Good. At least it's done. Perhaps it's best that I'm getting out of politics. Ranging assassinations couldn't be farther from what I've stood for. After falling this far, I suppose there's no point in trying to recover my principles. Coming clean would only do more harm than good. You don't cast off honor when it's inconvenient. I never said I was excusing my failures. Only living with them. It was for a greater good. We may be far from achieving peaceful coexistence, but the fewer men like Tormund that come to power, the better our chances. As far as anyone knows, Tormund died in a foolish naval battle. Let's leave it that way. You're a good man, Chancellor. The Republic will be worse off without you. I'm glad you weren't the monster June made you out to be. You'll be exonerated as I promised. Even if my replacement questions the justification, overturning it would be more trouble than it's worth. I'm also sending a small reimbursement for your lost wages. It isn't much. There are more important things than pride and wealth. I hope you'll continue to use such good judgment in the future. I'm a Mandalorian, Chancellor. We may not follow your rules, but we've got our priorities straight. You may not know how to handle a blaster, but you're prepared to die for what you believe in. That's good enough for me. Live in honor, Chancellor, wherever you end up. I was scanning the holonet and I just lost track of time. Where is everybody? It's so quiet. I thought for a second I'd gotten on the wrong ship. I can think of at least one good use for an empty ship. Oh, really? Okay, admit it. You pitched the guys out an airlock. It's okay, I won't judge. This time, anyway. It's strange. I haven't always known you. It just doesn't seem possible. It's gotten hard to remember what life was like before we met. Must have been pretty bad. Better not think about it, really. Yeah, pretty traumatic all the years I spent without your ego. I love you, you know. You probably guessed that already. You want me to say it for you? I love you. Man, I wish I'd gotten a holo recording of that. Scale of 1 to 10, how much do you think you want to get married? Just 1 to 10 scale? Oh, that's not nearly good enough. Gotta go at least to 50. 